and welcome to Lesson 21. Reader's Notebook. Introducing Miss Brandy. Why is my phone tripping like this? behind the camera is Layton. Hey guys. Oh, I see. Now, let's begin the show. Right. Read the directions. You. Lesson 21, Reader's Notebook, Sarah Plain and Tall. Spelling, okay. Words with E-D and I-N-G continued. All right, proofreading for spelling. So, right here we have to check for spelling errors. Um, of course, here's our spelling words, the same ones we've been looking at, you know, with the I-N-Gs. Coming, swimming, dropping, tapping, taping, invited, saving, stored, plan. Um, actually, guys, I feel like an idiot right now because I actually don't know if that's stored or stared. Hmm. I think it's stared. I think so. I think you're right. Good. <laughs> that's what I thought too. Okay. Planned, changing, joking, loved, ripped, tasted, making, stopped, freezing, scared. All right, we have to like read this invitation. It's an invitation to a swimming party. We have to find and circle the misspelled words. You are invited to a swimming party. Swimming is supposed to have two M's, right? Parents will be dropping again. Mm. Two P's. Kids at the planned. Mm. Again, planned to ends. Meeting. Mm, I, uh, meeting is only one end, so that, that uh, one, one, one T, so that's good. Place. Okay. The changing mm -mm. Mm. rooms at Bailey, I mean, Bayview Park. Everyone is coming. That's correct. At that's 11 o'clock. I have been saving hmm, mm. plastic flowers. We will be taping. That looks funny. Yeah, because that's not right. Them in onto our bathing. Is that correct? Bathroom. Bathing. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Let me see. Does bathing? If it's say, let's, let's see if we spell it with an e. Bathing. Mm, no, that is definitely not. Okay, so okay. this is correct. Okay, people stared <laughs> when we did this at my sister's party. I think they all loved how we looked and knew we were only joking. Mm. We will play in the water until noon. We gripped. Supposed to have two peas. Hands at my sister's party and jumped over waves. Maybe we can do that again. Then my dad will be a tapping signal. Is that a tapping signal? We'll make a taping signal? My dad will make a tapping signal? Hmm. Tapping signal. Oh, like. No. Taping or tapping? It says tapping, but look, taping. But there's also tapping. Mm. So I'm not sure what they were referring to because neither one of those sound right. A taping signal or a tapping signal. Well, tapping sounds more like, okay, so that's correct. He will serve chicken and salad for lunch. I've tasted his cooking and it will be great. Finally, we'll have a second swim. It will be a fun party. Hey, I hope you can make it. All right. Thanks for the invitation. Write the misspelled words correctly on the lines below. Well, beings, I'm assuming you um you under you, you followed me and you got to see you know that this is uh, wrong and this is wrong and so um you think I have I have to rewrite them.
Because they're all right here. Mm. Mm. We did the exercise pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Plus, it would bleed through the paper. So, all right. Again, lesson twenty-one. Oh, don't forget to write your name. Yeah, write your name. Okay. okay. Connect to writing. You can make your ideas clearer by using adverbs that compare. To compare two actions, add "-ior", to most adverbs. Use "-more", before an adverb that ends in "-ly". To compare more than two actions, add "-est", to most adverbs. Use the "-most", before an adverb that ends in "-ly". Okay, so that might sound confusing to you, but I'm going to give you some examples. Mary will arrive soonest than Ellen. That's wrong. It's supposed to be, Mary will arrive sooner than Ellen. Now, if I was to say, Mary arrived, uh, well, out of everyone, she arrived the, the soonest. Then that's right. But anyway, the great kitten acts the more lively of all the cats. That sounds right, but it's actually wrong. The answer is, the correct way, is the great kitten acts the most lively. Not the more lively, it's the most lively. Okay. So, hmm, I hope you're not still confused, but let's go ahead and, and go on. Um, use the correct form of the adverb. This is the adverb, remember? It's an adverb, I mean, it's a word. An adverb is a word that describes the verb. Kind of like an adjective describes a noun. Well, an adverb describes a verb. Bless you. Oh. Write the sentence. Okay. Ellen ran to the barn faster than Mary. Mm -hmm. Mary climbed the ladder quicker than Ellen. Bless you. The white kitten moved slower than mm -hmm. all the kittens. Yeah. The gray kitten cried louder than the white kitten. Mary played with the kitten's more carefully than Ellen did. Okay? All right. This sheet is complete, and thank you, and have a great This is day. the last lesson. Thanks. Lesson 21. Are we done? Yep, we're done with lesson 21. Can I go sit outside? Yeah, you can.